uh, play a woman in this film, Frances, who is sort of almost like a, a she's a muse for Miles mm -hmm. Davis. She's almost, you, you could see her in this iconic fashion. What's the challenge in taking a person like that, but making sure the audience knows that she's a real human being and not just this mm -hmm. someone up on a pedestal? Mm -hmm. Um, well, it, it does have its own set of challenges, especially even um, just portraying someone who is living, who, you know, is still here with us. You know, you want to honor that person, but at the same time, you know, you have to respect the art as well. You know, you see, you have to find the balance between the two. Um, and then just even I, it was important to me to make sure that her story was was told you know i couldn't find a lot of information about francis online you know when i began this process and so it was important to me that people you know knew who she was you know um, outside of just being the wife of miles davis it, she's still alive she is see i didn't know that because you're right there's not a lot of information yeah. about her online did you get to meet her i did i met her you know we've had about four or five lunches or so um she lives here in la um, and she's she's beautiful, just a beautiful woman. She's seen the movie and been to the premieres and really is excited about it. It finally happening, the movie finally coming out. Did you meet her before doing the part? Yeah. And did they give you more insight into her and into Miles and how that relationship Absolutely. Was? It was really, again, if I hadn't had that, you know, it would have been more of me trying to, you know, find out, think about, create for myself who this woman was, you know. Um, so it really was a gift to have been able to have met her beforehand. So we had many conversations before we even started filming. How much did you know about Miles' music going into this? Just a very little bit, you know. My dad was an avid record collector, had all of his albums, um, but I really didn't know who he was and know about his music until doing the film and just in my own research before doing the film. What do you think his legacy is musically uh, now? Oh, years man. Later? You know, one of the things I love about Miles Davis is that he never, he was very unorthodox. You know, he never stayed in one lane. He was always changing, always trying to be better. Um, and I think that that is something that will stand. He put his stamp on so many different things. You know, he um, played jazz, but he doesn't classify his music as jazz music, you know, and he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, he just, he can't be categorized. And so I think that that is something that will stand. Can you talk about uh, working with Don both as an actor and as a director mm -hmm. and, and having him on both sides of the camera? Yeah. How was that? What was that experience It like? was really wonderful. It was really wonderful. You know, having, working with a director who is also an actor, there's just, you know, an innate understanding that you have between each other. You know, he's going to um, take care of you in that sense. You know, he, he knows how to structure certain scenes and things like that. Things that maybe directors don't always think about because they're not actors you know um so that was wonderful and then just working with him as a director don to me just comes off as one of those people that really respects the craft and takes it seriously um and so you know that he is capable <laughs> he's capable he's his first time director but he's not new in that sense and so it was really um freeing for me and reassuring i could find it without being concerned um about any anything else that had nothing to do with that